to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me for your monthly February 2022 reading. Now, general message. Now, this is not a love reading. However, if love does pop up, we will be sure to take a peek into it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for bearing with me on my hiatus. But I'm back. Okay. All right, angels, we're looking for positive energy for lovely, lovely Libra. What is going on for the second month of 2022? Moving on to, yes, my mama's deck. Thank you, angels. We're looking for the highest of the vibrations. We're looking for positive energy. Yes, we are. Thank you. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Angels, what is going on for lo <laughs> lovely Libra? <laughs> lovely, lovely Libra. Thank you and thank you. Let's take a peek, shall we? We're going to tap off this message with the hummingbird deck. Angels, what's the messages? What are the messages for? For Libra. Hmm. Let's tidy up a bit and get right into your yes. <laughs> your message. I'm gonna say that one more time. So for the month, the major, the general message, yes, the overall theme is the seven of swords. Yes, with the jack of hearts, prosperity four of clubs, and the nine of hearts. So I'm feeling, Libra, there is some energy. You are really pondering, walking away from something, thinking really, really hard. It could be a job. It could be a home. It could be um, a creative project, but you're really thinking about leaving it. But you know that doing so is a sacrifice in your prosperity yes but you've already made up your mind and you are really ready to let it go now this nine of hearts could actually symbolize you donating your time donating your energy maybe you're donating to your children maybe you're donating to a community but whatever it is I see you walking away um, and maybe you're walking away from a, a job that you've had for a very long time that um, provided a sense of security for you but now you're thinking of giving more to volunteer efforts Whatever it is, you've definitely made up your mind and you're not, you're not changing it. Letting go, letting go is the theme of the month. It's in your mind quite a bit. I feel like by the end of the month, I'm going to say you're going to go through some emotions, some thoughts. Should I let something go? Should I not let something go? Let's take a peek into your message, okay? All right, so it, when we look into the recent past, let's see where we where we came from. How did we get to this place? We have the five of wands reversed with the six of diamonds, gratitude, five of hearts, and the eight of hearts. So in the recent past, I feel like there was something within you. Maybe, maybe this was within your own mind. Maybe there were some complications, some disagreements, but why do I feel like these disagreements are of your own doing? Up here, you were disagreeing with self when it came to stability in your finances. You were grateful, I feel, for your finances, but your emotions changed and your emotions kind of won out in this situation. This battle, if you will, for some, yes, this battle had to do with other people, but for others, this was an internal battle about, about, I want to say your resources. I want to say your stability, your financial stability. Maybe, like I said, where it's where maybe it had to do with where you live, your job, things of that nature. But it was going on within you. Some other people, maybe it was going on outside of self. But I'm picking up this was an internal struggle mentally. Now, kind of how we got to where we are. Now, let's take a peek in the middle of the month. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Spades, the Fun card, the Two of Hearts, and the Six of Spades. So in the middle of the month, Libra, I see the Queen of Pentacles. You are sitting in your financial prosperity. You are feeling fine. You are feeling safe and secure. Everything in your world is as it should be. It feels like there is nothing really to worry about. Yes, there's 
some work that needs to be done, but it's going to be easy, it's going to be quick, and you're going to get it over with because there is a lot of fun that needs to be had. It looks like it could be in a new love affair or it could be in a love affair you're in at the present time. And it's going to be, I feel like this is a faded event in the middle of the month. So you're kind of tidying up, getting, um, finishing up things that need to be finished so that you can focus on all your love bonds. These could be a new love bond. It could be a, a love bond that's already in your life, but it feels like yeah, you want to pay more attention to that, but you got to get your work done first. Whatever that looks like, that's what you're trying to tidy up in the middle of the month to prepare for getting closer to someone, okay? Now, let's take a peek at your... Now, this someone could be romantic. It could be friendship. It could be uh, a child or a grandchild. What, whomever this is, please, please apply this to your life as it fits. Now, when we look at the end of the month, we have the three of pentacles with the ten of hearts the union the three of hearts ah, and the nine of diamonds so at the end of the month I see that you are involved in something of a I feel it's contractual if you will it feels like um, maybe you are signing a contract with a third party or maybe there is a third party involved in a contract this whatever this is this contract it is it is surrounded supported by a lot of people so there's no worry there this is a union I feel like this union I feel like this union has to do with somebody else now this somebody else could be a third party situation and make no mistake please don't say oh my partner is having an affair no doesn't necessarily have to be that it could be you your partner and a child you your partner and their job or you your partner and um maybe a, a, a family member, if you will. But I feel like whatever it is, there's going to be a lot of giving to that third party situation. And just, you know, apply that as it fits to your world. This third party, like I said, it feels good. It feels supported. It feels like a coming together. Um, once again, Whatever, whatever worry that you have about this third party, Libra, you're going to let it go. You're really going to walk away from this worry. Like I said, it could be a child. It could be a literal third party situation. But I see you walking away. You're giving much to it as in giving it away. Like I'm giving, I'm done, I'm cutting the cords, things of that nature. So some of you, there is a third party. Okay, some of you, and you're letting it go, you're cutting it out. Maybe both of you are cutting it out. Um, or some of you, it, it's it's like you're just letting go of the worry associated with this, this financial deal at the end of the month. Let go of the worry. Let go of the worry and move forward in all of your financial partnerships. Now, your bonus for the month is ah the ace of cups a new beginning with the seven of cups the three of diamonds realign six of hearts eight of clubs so i'm feeling like mm, is someone getting married this month it feels like a brand new beginning in love a new beginning in emotions but do you really, is this the right one? Are you, you, don't, you just don't know because there's so much on offer for you. There's, um, okay, look, be honest here. This is a new beginning, but you're not sure if this is the new beginning that you want. The three of diamonds, you may be worried about money or this may have something to do with money, but it's time to realign. It's time to start thinking differently outside of the box when it comes to love, when it comes to uh, love that's long lasting, love that's going to last a lifetime. Once you get that energy, once you decide, you know, I really want long lasting love. I want that fairy tale, that love that's going to last through my, I don't know, Medicare, if you will. Once you decide that is what you want, because I see you have some options here, you're going to go through with it. But I, I feel like the
the one that you want the the and and then you maybe you're not deciding um maybe you're not deciding with up two people or three people or four people maybe you're deciding okay i know this person um there is a new beginning on offer but do I want to be single? Do I want to just focus on my career? Do I want to focus on my children? Do I want to grow my business? Those are the things that you're kind of making that decision on. But I feel like with the six of hearts, you really want this love. You really want this long-term love that's going to last a lifetime. That I feel, I feel will win out it's going to win out, okay, because you've got your mindset that this is what you want. Any any kind of aggravation, anything mixed up in that, any I'm uncertain, um, I don't know, um, do I want long term, do I want short term, mm, that's going to be gone at the end of the month and you're going to know exactly what it is that you want. So I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.